This is Deep Frame All Rounder. And this experiment is to show you the difference between the three hoses, red is Rhino Tube, blue is Rhino High Flow, and green is Rhino Flat Hose. Everything else is a constant. The brush won't change, the pressure won't change. All we're changing is from 75 feet of flat hose to high flow to Rhino Tube and seeing the effect it has on the water coming out of the brush. So the first experiment is with the flat hose. And what we're going to do to show you the flow rate is to take a standard Coke bottle, right, and put the hose in and then see how long it takes to fill. Three, two, one, go. Stop. 3.3 seconds. Okay? Now the effect of this flow rate, which is one Coke bottle in 3.3 seconds, when we connect it to the constructor, deep frame all rounder is this kind of spray which is actually too much okay with all the conditions the same this is high flow three two one go five point eight seconds <laughs> so let's put that into into the brush put that in and we can see the difference in how far the water squirts is different because there's a different flow rate. Everything else is the same. The brush is the same. The pressure available is the same. It's the flow rate that's changed. And now we're going to change out from the high flow to the rhino tube. Let's see what the flow rate is here. Three, two, one, go. Eleven seconds. So let's have a look when we attach Rhino Tube to the all rounder. Put that up there. Okay, so what you can see is that the effect of using Rhino Tube on a constructor brush with a Hydroblade 2 is diminishing. And so it's not the brush that has a problem. We have plenty of pressure, we've proved that, because nothing's changed. What it is, is the tube is causing us, it's stealing our pressure. So we need to change Rhino Tube to high flow, and we'll get the constructor brush working exactly the way you want it. All right, under identical conditions, we have a retro brush with two pencil jets, and we have deep frame all rounder with Hydroblade 2 to be able to demonstrate what this means to you, what this flow rate means in efficiency. So let's go to the glass. So when you're using pencil jet brushes, you've already done your agitation. So this is not about that, that's the bristles. When it comes to rinse, you have to chase the dirty water off the glass. And the way you do that is you actually run across the top. Now, if that water is squirting too hard, you can see I'm wetting up above the window no matter what I do. And then I have to chase that dirty water off the glass. So I have to go like this as fast as I can all the way down and chase the dirty water off the glass and this is how much time it takes and you can't do it at this speed all day long. Now have a look as you get closer to the glass, have a look what's happening on the glass. You can see that water is hitting the glass with velocity, it's completely turbulent and it's spraying up above where you rinse. That's splashback, that's putting the dirt from the dirty water back above your rinse line. So you don't want turbulent water. Let's have a look at Constructor Brush. So again, this is the all new Deep Frame All Rounder with Hydroblade 2. And the way we would work this is we'd go up to the top and we'd rinse down, we go up to the top and we'd rinse down and we go up to the top and we rinse down. And it's finished. Now have a look what's happened. When I'm rinsing, that water is cascading. Yeah? We've formed a water squeegee because we have a blade of bristles that the water doesn't go through. Underneath the brush, if you're on really dirty glass, you can see we've got jets of water. So that when we pull down, even on hydrophobic glass, that water is helping us get the dirty water off the glass, while the top jets are putting the spot-free water on the glass. I want to show you, going back now, you have a look what's happening here. This is the window that we 
use the pencil jets on. Actually, let me just, let me, because there's a bit of overspray and splash there, so I'll just be fair, get rid of all that. Look at how many beads of water are sticking to the glass after using pencil jets. And now come over here and have a look at how many less beads of water there are on the glass after using Deep Frame or Rounder with Hydroblade 2. This makes a difference to you because on a windy day or in pollen season, this airborne dirt and dust, even if you did it perfectly, there's still a chance that airborne dirt and dust will come and stick to your beads of water. So the smaller the beads are and the less the number of beads there are, the less the chance of you actually getting a spot on the glass, even if you're using perfect technique. So to summarize, these two brushes are operating under exactly the same condition. And you can see how far two pencil jets are squirting and how far, well, how much water we can put on the glass with our all new, have a look at this, here it is. Deep frame all rounder with Hydroblade 2. And what we're doing is, we're, look, if you look here, we're putting the water where we need it. When, the, when you go into the corner, that water there, right, is right where that bristle is in the corner. So that means you can rinse to the corner. When this brush comes down the frame, this water is rinsing down the edge of the frame. It's the only brush in the world that'll do that. Okay, so let's go over this just one more time. We started the day with 75 feet of flat hose, high flow and rhino tube. We showed you by filling a Coke bottle in like 11 seconds, seven seconds and three seconds using the different hoses, the flow rate was different by using different hoses. We then attached those hoses with those flow rates to the constructor brush and we were able to show the difference in the velocity of the water through the jets which created a different length of the squirt. Then we went to the glass and said okay what does this mean to you as a window cleaner? If you've got two pencil jets that's pouring water out right at high velocity or even slow right what you're trying to do is chase water off the glass and we took deep frame all rounder with Hydroblade 2 and we were able to show you that in, in the downstroke the whole width of the brush, edge to edge, across the top, into the corner, everything is gonna rinse with a cascading rinse regardless of how hydrophobic the glass is. And there's like a fraction of the number of beads left on the glass just in case you are on a, dis a dusty day. We feel that you're gonna benefit from getting a constructor brush. We hope that we've been able to show you why. And we also want anybody who's got constructor brushes to understand that they can upgrade to high flow tube and get a better result out of their constructor brush. And there will be a Hydroblade 2 upgrade available for existing constructor brushes coming through shortly. We're really excited about the effect of you being able to clean windows faster because that changes your life, right? And what we do is we just focus all day every day on how to clean windows faster, better, safer.